now suddenly you are not scared anymore and that one change can flip everything let me tell you a little bit about my scuba diving experience first of all i feel like everyone should do it everyone should experience it at least once शुरुआत में फटती है सबकी फटती है वी आर नॉट मेंट टू गो अंडर वाटर ऑनेस्टली वी आर नॉट वायर्ड लाइक दैट एंड द फर्स्ट टाइम यू गो अंडर वाटर यू गेट दैट सेंस ऑफ व्हाट एम आई डूइंग हियर आई एम अ लैंड मैमल आई एम नॉट सपोज टू बी एट फीट टेन फीट फिफ्टीन फीट अंडर वाटर एंड इवन दो यू आर ब्रीदिंग थ्रू दैट ट्यूब यू स्टिल फील क्लॉस्ट्रोफोबिक यू फील ब्रेथलेस यू फील लाइक यू कान ब्रीथ प्रॉपरली you are wearing a mask which covers your nose and there is water coming into your mask sometimes it's covering up to your eyes there are a lot of things that can go wrong initially you will get scared you will panic that's just the way it is i also went through that what happens later the next stage of scuba diving is when your panic goes away and that is a beautiful moment suddenly you realize that nothing else has changed you are still under water there are still fishes around you there is still a tube in your mouth all of that is the same the only thing that is different is now suddenly you are not scared anymore and that one change can flip everything and it's such a big learning curve because you think of all the times in life that you've been panicking thinking mai abhi mar jaunga abhi mar jaunga like things are shit there's nothing i can do and suddenly same situation and it's all okay and now you have time to breathe you can look around you you can start appreciating where you are and you realize that outside your comfort zone doesn't always have to be terrifying it can actually be beautiful and there is so much to see and there is so much to learn from that universe and that's when you actually start seeing the fishes and the corals and then you start swimming and before you know it that 10 feet becomes 20 feet 20 feet becomes 30 feet you are now swimming at 10 meters 15 meters 18 meters under water and then you suddenly look up and the the sun like the water surface is so far away and that is when you get your second panic attack like holy shit mai itna deep kab aaya and then you again get over it you again start breathing you again calm down and then that real learning starts you learn to keep your heart rate low you learn to keep your breathing low because you dive with a cylinder of 10 to 12 liters and uske andar you have around 200 bars of oxygen that will last you anywhere between half an hour to one and a half hours depending on how quickly you breathe so if you are panicking and you are gasping for air the air cylinder A reading will just go like this and then you're done you have to come back up but if you're breathing slow you get like an hour an hour 15 minutes to explore underwater you get a lot of time and it's amazing it's like meditation because when you are that deep underwater you can't even hear anything the only thing you can hear is your own breathing imagine only listening to your breathing for an hour that's it just breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out that's it that's all you hear and then you become aware of how your body will move as you breathe because when you're 18 meters or 30 meters under water you take a deep breath and your body starts going up you exhale and your body starts coming down like that is how sensitive your body is because as you fill up with air you become more buoyant so you start going up so you don't want to keep going up and down right like you want to stay steady So for that you have to breathe very softly very slowly and you can't hold your breath also so you have to keep on breathing it was it's incredible it's so meditative at some point i hope you get to try it i'm definitely keen on doing this more i have done with 26 the plan is to complete 100 100 dives that'll be fun <laughs>